Hello dear viewers. Today in this video, I will be discussing RSBI that is Rapid Shallow Breathing Index, its utility and limitations and how to measure and calculate it. RSBI is a winning predictor and it is used sometimes when doubt exists over a patient readiness or tolerance to weaning once patient meets the criteria of weaning based on clinical criteria. What are the clinical criteria of weaning I will discuss in my next video. RSBI is the most widely used and extensively studied weaning predictor and easy to use. It is a ratio of respiratory frequency to tidal volume and here tidal volume is measured in liters. How we measure RSBI? Conventionally, we measure the F which is respiratory rate and VT is tidal volume in liters. Using a handheld spirometer attached to an endotracheal tube while a patient is breathing room air for one minute without any ventilatory assistance. It means first we disconnect the patient from ventilator and spirometer is attached to endotracheal tube. The spirometer merges the total volume inspired and expired in one minute and that is mint ventilation while we count the actual respiratory rate. The tidal volume can be calculated by dividing the mint ventilation by the respiratory rate and then respiratory rate and VT can then be used to calculate the RSBI. However, if a spirometer is not available or the patient cannot breathe room air, the RSBI may be calculated using the ventilator. First, set the ventilator to a pressure support level of 0 cm of water and a peep of 0 cm of water without flow or pressure trigger for one minute. The tidal volume can then be determined by the ventilator. However, the respiratory rate should be manually counted since the ventilator may underestimate the respiratory rate if the patient makes inspiratory effort that are not sensed by the ventilator. Such unmeasured inspiratory efforts falsely lower the RSBI, particularly in patients who have chronic obstructive lung disease with dynamic hyperinflation. How do we calculate it? As for an example, if respiratory frequency is 30 and tidal volume is 450 means 0.45 liter, then we divide F30 by 0.45 and the value we drive is 66.66 breath per minute per liter and this is RSBI in this example. Regarding interpretation of RSBI, an RSBI equal to 105 or more breath per minute per liter and that is known as a negative RSBI indicates that a patient is likely to fail weaning while a positive test RSBI means when the RSBI is less than 105 breath per minute per liter is more likely to undergo successful weaning. However, it is useful to apply an individualized approach to interpreting the threshold value of 105 and allow for factors that may falsely alter it. For example, several factors have been shown to increase the RSBI including a narrow endotracheal tube means tube size less than or equal to 7 cm, female gender, patient in sepsis and with fever, supine position, anxiety, suctioning and chronic restrictive lung disease. Thus, interpretation may need to be adjusted individually under these circumstances. Evidences suggest that a negative RSBI means RSBI equal to or more than 105 breath per minute per liter is better at identifying patients who will fail weaning than a positive RSBI means RSBI less than 105 breath per minute per liter is at identifying patient who can be successfully weaned. In terms of clinical outcomes surrounding its use, the routine use of RSBI has not been shown to decrease duration of weaning or mechanical ventilation. So, its use should be restricted to those patients where doubt exists over tolerance to weaning. So, to summarize, 
RSBI is commonly used for predicting success of weaning when doubt exists over a patient's readiness to wean in those who has already met the clinical criteria of weaning. And a negative RSBI is better at identifying patients who will fail weaning than a positive RSBI in identifying patients who can be successfully weaned. Here I finish. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked this video. I would appreciate your feedback or suggestions. See you in my next video on how I ventilate ARDS patients. Till then, bye and take care.